hear it pounding. This is Andreas Juliusson from VR game developer Fast Travel Games. In just a few months, we'll be releasing Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife, a World of Darkness VR horror game that we hope will scare you beyond belief. With a focus on deep storytelling and rewarding exploration rather than jump scares, we aim to deliver a haunting experience that really gets under your skin. A test on just how brave you are, but also at the same time is extremely fun to play. Here are five reasons why we believe you will want to enter the afterlife in VR early 2021. 1. You are a wraith with supernatural powers. In Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife, you'll be playing as a certain kind of ghost called Wraiths. Apart from the fact that you're already dead when the game starts, being a wraith also means you can do things a human can't. You can use your sharpened senses to pick up distant whispers or track the movement of other ghosts. You have the power to manipulate objects from a distance. Using Wraith Grasp lets you change the environment around you. And you can walk through solid walls through something called insubstantiality. But these powers are not all. There are also relic items that you'll find during the game. For example, you get to capture hidden memories using your camera, light up dark areas with a flashlight, and much more. As a wraith, you'll have many tools and abilities at your disposal. 2. The Barclay Mansion is not your typical haunted house. The game takes place in the home of Howard Barkley, an old and sick man, retired from his past career as a movie producer. Far from the stereotypical haunted house or gothic castle, the Barkley Mansion is a modern building filled with Hollywood decadence and trophies that bring witness to Howard's glorious past in the movie business. The remnants of a premiere party can still be seen inside the mansion, and broken glass covers the floor in the cinema room where the projector is still on. Barclay Mansion will let you explore every nook and cranny of its many interconnected floors and rooms, but also to leave it occasionally as you search for a way out. The garden area is as pompous as the interiors, amplified by the haunting sky above and the glowing city skyline in the distance. 3. There is a horrifying mystery to unravel. In Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife, you'll play as a photographer by the name of Ed Miller, who, before the game starts, arrives at the mansion in the Hollywood Hills together with his wife to capture a mysterious seance on behalf of the mansion owner, Howard Barkley. Once the seance starts, however, something goes terribly wrong and Ed dies. Why did he die? What happened to his wife? Is she still alive somewhere? Why did Barkley arrange the seance in the first place? As Ed, now in the shape of a wraith, you have to enter the Barclay Mansion once again and reveal the truth to all this. 4. Stay away from the specters. Even though you are a wraith, there are far more sinister threats waiting for you in Wraith the Oblivion Afterlife. Specters are certain kinds of spirits that have lost touch with their humanity. They are stuck in the Shadowlands, which is the name of the afterlife world in this game, for different reasons, and their former identities have been replaced with evil and sadistic personalities. These specters are the main enemies you will face in the game. Each specter is unique, and their visualization bears proof of how they died in their real lives. Five. 
It all takes place in the world of darkness. The world of darkness is an entire supernatural world hidden in plain sight, where monsters of many different kinds live among us, concealed in the shadows. And with Afterlife, we're now creating the first ever VR game set in this unique universe. However, we are making sure to create a welcoming experience to all you horror players out there without any previous experience of the world of darkness. And there you have it. We can't wait for all you brave souls out there to enter the afterlife as wraiths in VR early 2021. Stay tuned on at Wraith Afterlife for upcoming gameplay footage in the near future and we'll see you all in the world beyond the shroud.